welcome to this episode of CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and today we're going to tackle a topic that uh, we get a lot of questions about, and that's licensing. And what happens when you go from a trial to having purchased a license? How do you get going? Uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion around that, so we're going to try and tackle that here today. Um, here I have a user in my organization, Megan Bowen. And Megan has gone out and spun up this trial of customer insights. So if I go and take a look at this, you'll see that I have a trial. And I'm in this M365-368-389. Uh, in uh, tenant. If I flip over to uh, a different browser window where I'm logged in as the admin, of this domain, the or this tenant, the M365 368389. Um, and I look at my products that I'm licensed for, you'll see that I have kind of the typical office uh, given their trials and demos, but um, I do not have customer insights. If I go under my licenses, however, I'll see that I'm licensed for customer insights viral because Megan has gone out and created a trial. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to redeem an offer code that I have that's going to give me a production license. Um, this has to be done by the tenant admin who I am logged in as here in the admin center and will go ahead and provide me with a license. Now, in many cases, you will have an enterprise agreement or you'll have a sales team who you'll work with. And if you already have uh, customer insights, I'm sorry, if you already have Dynamics products, the license will just show up. Um, there is a very good resource that I will point you to. It is this page. And you can get to this from the short link aka.ms slash CI license steps, which uh, is shown on the screen here. And you can then read through this post um, by one of our, by the product manager, Sheffy, uh, on the whole, uh, how do you set up customer insights after you've bought it from the licensing team. So this gives you a really good step-by-step -step guide. But the, the key thing here to remember is once you've purchased the license and it shows up in your admin center, Everything has to be done as the tenant admin at that point until you create the tenant, at which point you can add users. So I'm going to go ahead and redeem my license. This is going to go off. Uh, looks like you already have an account. Yes, add this to my account. And then I will be able to go back and see it. So I'm going to do that. And again, you probably wouldn't go through this. Now, if you're a partner who's gone through one of our trainings and we are giving you a code like this, this would be the steps that you'll go through. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and I'll be back as soon as this I'm done with this checkout process. Okay, I've finished all that setup and now it, it gives me a chance to go to my admin home. Um, I'm going to simply go back over here to my other tab where I have the admin center open and I'm gonna hit refresh in the licensing area. And what you'll notice is we do not show up here. Do, uh, customer insights as a product, so not the viral uh, trial, but the product does not show up as a license. And that's because we're not licensed on a per user um, where you are going to assign the license to somebody. So that's another key thing to remember. You do not assign a license to a user. Um, everything has to be done to start off by the tenant admin, and then you invite or add users to your customer insights environment to give them the ability to do it. Now, if I switch over to products, you'll see that we now have a Dynamics 365 customer insights added here along next to the customer insights viral as a product. You also see it does say uh, available one, zero used. You really, again, here, you don't assign licenses. So when you the assign users, you don't have to do any of that here for customer insights. The key is that you see the license in your products listing, not under licenses, but under your products. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to a, uh, you're going to go ahead and create 
an environment, but you have to, again, do this as the tenant admin. So you're going to go to HTTP home.ci.ai.dynamics. Dot com and then start and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to show you it with a capital S because the case is important here and you'll, you'll see that if I go there with a capital S what happens is I get the contact your admin. You can launch a trial. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that and I'm going to put a lowercase s. And make sure that you're you're not getting the URL changed here. Sometimes if you've been to the Customer Insights site before because you had a trial or something, when you go to it, it's going to try and change that. It might say slash start slash trial or something, and uh, that you don't want. So you want to make sure that it's it's definitely like this, home.cidata.dynamics.com uh, slash lowercase start. And now what we'll see is now I get the actual, hey, welcome admin, you're almost there. I can hit continue. I can create my uh, sandbox, sandbox, not sand mix. <laughs> uh, I can pick my region that I wanna put it in and I can pick sandbox and I can go ahead and create my sandbox. There we go. Now I have a sandbox environment that I can use. Okay, so that finished. You see here it's now loading up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under permissions. And you'll see that I am the admin and the owner. That's key because only one person can be the owner. I'm going to go ahead and add an admin. And I'm going to type in Megan's name. There she is. Click her. Hit save. And now Megan will have access to this as a user. She will be the administrator. So she'll be able to do everything that I can do. The only thing she can't do is she won't be able to delete it um, and do things like that. So like in here where I can uh, edit it and delete it, she won't be able to do those things because she is not the owner. She is merely an admin. So, And that's everything that you need to know about licensing and getting set up once you have a production license. Hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in for the next episodes as they become available.